<laughs> hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Char and I post lifestyle content here on this channel so if you're interested in lifestyle content please do me a favor and click the subscribe button down below also turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video from me hey y'all it has been a minute I have just been like living my life I've been off for the last week before that I was just busy with work I'm not gonna bore y'all stuff happens so um i'm back i'm not gonna give y'all any excuses but i'm back so today i wanted today is friday first of all today's friday um april 22nd i want to say no it's april 21st on friday at 5 45 i just came in from i went to lunch with one of my friends hey kiara i went to lunch with kiara today and then i did some shopping i had bought those tube top shirts from um Dara with the zippers on the side and I bought them uh, a size too big so I took one of them back I already wore the black one um, and then I went to Express just looking around since I was already in Dallas and I found a cute shirt and I only paid four dollars for it because I had like points or cash or something so make sure y'all use your phone number when you go to these stores anyway now I'm back home and I'm going to have some protein coffee. And I haven't taken my vitamins for today, so that's what I'm about to do. But I also have here a package, my last package from Sephora. Uh, did y'all shop to sell? I want to, I'm going to share with y'all what I bought. Um, but I want to show y'all what I got right here. Um, because it's perfume. And these are two new fragrances that I have never tried before. So I wanted to share them with y'all. So... And then I'll just show y'all everything else that I bought. So I always tell myself, oh, I'm not going to buy too much stuff in the Sephora sale this year. I'm just going to, you know, re restock on the stuff that I have been buying. And that never happened. So uh, I bought... I bought some new skin. I like to try new skincare products. So my first order was basically a restock. My second order was I decided to go ahead and try new skincare products. And I got the pharmacy, the honey line. It's so good. Y'all see my face is glowing. It is so good. Uh, so in, in the, this order was some fragrances. So Tom Ford came out with a new cherry fragrance. It's called Cherry Smoke. So I'm super excited about this. And then I saw this um, on someone's Sephora haul like two years ago and I just never was able to get my hands on it. So I decided to go ahead and try it out. I'm going to open these really quick and I want to come back and tell y'all if they are good. Please hold. All right, y'all. So I don't know if I ever talked about this on my channel, but my strategy when purchasing from Sephora in general is I don't typically buy anything from Sephora throughout the year unless it's like an eyebrow pencil or something and I just need need to repurchase because that stuff, uh, that stuff, you know, needs to be restocked like quicker than skincare or whatever. But what I typically do is buy like my high ticket items during the sale. They have the sales twice a year and then throughout the year they have like some little sales. Uh, but I buy my high ticket items like fragrance and skincare, sometimes foundation. And then I like sprinkle in some like makeup stuff that I want to try. But it's usually fragrance and skincare. So like I said, uh, I wanted to try this milk fragrance it is i think the brand is milk no the brand is commodity and the scent is milk maybe we'll see i hope this bottle is cute oh the bottle is very sleek it's a big bottle too so here it is and it's telling me that the scent is expressive for me and the many around me uh i'm trying to see if there's notes it says that it doesn't give me any notes yet but it says it is personal expressive and bold so let's just try it i already have some on so i'm just gonna spray this on oh there was something in here Okay, it says the first note is cold milk, accord skin musk, then tonka bean, or I like tonka, warm marshmallow, and then finally there's mahogany wood. So hopefully that mahogany wood saves all of the sweetness because I'm not a really, 
really, really sweet girl. I do like cherry, but let's see. Oh, yeah. This is giving... This is give. I don't know. This is giving by the fireside or jazz club on a lighter level. So if you like by the fireplace, I think it's either by the fireplace or jazz club. If you like those, but they're too strong for you, this is good. So I'll link it in the description box, obviously. Um, oh, she is uh, that tea kettle just burnt me. Okay. Now this is the one that I've been waiting for. Y'all know Lost Cherry is my signature scent. So I had to try this smoked cherry. There's another cherry one that he has uh, come out with that I wanted to try as well. But let's see. Because I'm going to have to get the full size of this one. Let me find something else to spray this on. All right. Moment of truth. That's me. I should smell some coffee. Hold on. Let me smell some coffee since I'm in the kitchen. The, the smoked cherry is giving me more of a licorice scent. I don't know. I think I'm probably going to return this. I don't know. I'm going to see. It's not giving what I needed to give. Uh, Yeah. I don't think right now. I don't recommend the smoked cher cherry smoke or whatever um it's giving licorice and i don't know how i feel about that um so yeah but this one this, this commodity milk i think it's the brand is commodity and uh the scent is milk i don't know if i'll i'll figure it out and put it down below but this one is like a, a easier wearing version of I'm going to have to tell y'all in the description box if it's either Jazz Club. I want to say it's Jazz Club because I can live with by the fireplace. But Jazz Club is like super duper extra. So you have to like be sparingly, uh, sparing when you wear that. Anyway, so again, I am in the kitchen. I am going to be making myself a protein coffee. I also wanted to pop in because I got some stuff delivered. I have my rug and then I have the bar cart that's been here for like... I don't know how long that I want to go ahead and uh, put together and get the rug all laid out because I'm going to go to Home Goods this weekend so I can see if maybe I can figure out like the vibes in my living area um, because the rug is pretty bold and I'm kind of nervous about it. I hope it works because the last couple of rugs, I had a bold rug at first. I had that black rug in here. Um, and then the last couple rugs have been like light. So I'm hoping that this rug is not doing too much. I think I'm going to have to change like the pillows on my couch. Um, I totally want to get a new coffee table. All of this is fine because I can give my old stuff to my sister or I can sell it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be sharing in this video. Oh, and I also like I have hella hella points. And I got this uh, travel size fresh set. It has the soy cleanser, the Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer, the Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. I think that's a spray. And then the Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. I think that's a moisturizer. So uh, I don't know. I'm going to take this next time I travel, though. So, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to pop in and say, hey, show my face before I start <laughs> recording stuff uh, and just posting. The oh, this is small. Look how small this stuff is. I'm giving this to somebody. I'm going to give this to somebody. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll see y'all later.
The only thing is, it's like thin. Let me show y'all. It's not like a super thick, thick rug, but I think it's washable. So that's good. So I did see a recommendation on a video on YouTube about this rug being thin and I still wanted to buy it. Got this from Amazon, by the way. It will obviously be linked down below. Um, and one of the recommendations that I saw about this rug was to get a rug pad from Home Depot that is made out of like sneakers, old Nike sneakers. So that is what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, but for right now, I am going to go ahead and put my couch back on it. I'm thinking, I don't like, you know, it has like some wearing looking um like this part is like lighter it has like a couple of spots like that i think i'm gonna turn it around so that the part down there that's like a little bit darker can be uh showing versus this end so i'm gonna circle it around but i like this rug y'all i think i'm going to definitely be changing out some of those pillows in my i thought this was gonna be like clashy with my uh sectional but my sectional is like a solid enough color it has like these little speckles of like gray or a different color uh cream or whatever on it but if i find solid pillows i think i'll be good i probably would actually be good with with the pillows that i already have but you know i'm very particular about this living room and since rug gate seems to be over I'm happy. So I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, putting my couch back or my sectional back where it was and we'll see how it all looks. I'm going to take the pillows off too just to come back and see what it looks like without the pillows. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I'm in love with this rug. I'm going to get my sectional like cleaned and refreshed because it's kind of giving dull with this rug now. I'm totally going to be changing out this coffee table because I need something a little bit more excessive not excessive but something a little bit more substantial like more of a larger square or rectangle and then I'm going to get one chair maybe two small ottomans or something to put on this side I think I want to get a chair something that's like airy um to not you know close up the space but I don't know about like the format that I have like my sectional in I just feel like the rug is a 9 by 12 and I don't know if I should have it going the uh, the other direction like towards the back door right now it's going towards the TV wall here um because I'm thinking like it's not a whole lot of space between I don't even know if that's straight. I don't know y'all, but anyway, it's not a whole lot of space between the rug and like where a TV stand or something would go. So I don't know, um, but I like the rug. I'm gonna keep playing around with it, you know, with the living room in general, just to see how I want to, you know, have everything set up, but yeah. So uh, that's gonna be it for today, y'all, cause I'm tired. Um, MJ is outside barking, so I need to go figure out what's going on with that. And then tomorrow, I'm going to put together the bar cart. I'm going to bring those two shelves out of my office and put them on this wall here. Um, and then I'm going to go to Home Goods and see what I can find to like finish my living room area. So I hope you stay tuned to see what we end up with. I kind of feel like I need another couch, <laughs> but I'm not going to be that excessive. I might be switching around the way that this sectional is though because i don't know how i feel about it but that's why we record this so that we could you know get some insight from you guys about what you think so here's one last look y'all tell me what y'all think i should do should i move the sectional into like a different way should i move the rug to be a different way um I feel like the way the section is now, it's given a distinct, you know, line for where the, the living room and the dining room or dining area are. But is that really necessary? Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, I will continue working on this, like I said, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. 
Hey friends, good morning. So today is Saturday morning and I have a little bit of an update since last night. So y'all know last night we were putting the rug down and I was like struggling trying to figure out, uh, I guess, format or whatever you want to call it for how I had the sectional situated and I figured it out. So let me show you what I did. Okay, y'all. So I rearranged the sectional in the living room. So basically, this long, like, couch part of the sectional used to be on that side of the room. So I basically moved that long couch part to on this side. So there's two pieces here. There's like a love seat a size piece and then the corner piece. And then I just took that, um, that piece that was sitting on the end and put it here along with the ottoman because the ottoman is like going to be moving depending on who's in here but typically you know as it stands it's just going to be sitting right there so i like this better because it opens up the room a little bit more and i was able to change the the direction that the rug was sitting because at first the rug was going the long way from the window to the wall from the window to the wall. <laughs> I know that was corny, uh, but it was. It was going the long direction from the, the the window over this way to the wall where the TV is. And I really wanted it to come the long direction, the long ways of the room. So I was able to do that by restructuring the format of how I have the uh, sectional situated. I still kind of feel like I could pull the rug a little bit more closer like to the patio door, not too close because I feel like there's just too much couch on the rug. So I'm gonna try that when Michael gets back home today. Uh, but for now, I like it. My couch definitely needs to be clean. So I'm probably not going to do that today because I don't really have a lot of time, but I'm going to plan to do that next week. So next weekend. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. So now what I am hoping to be able to get done today is I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to go in my office and get these shelves removed so that I can put them over here on this wall by the uh, patio door here in this section. Y'all see, the wall over there. So I was trying to decide if I was gonna put something like art or a table or something over there, but I, I, figured, I feel like it would be best for me to put these shelves out of my office in there um in here that way i can have a little bit more of decor in here um and then of course the table is still here but it, it just looks a lot better like it it looks a lot better in my opinion so i'm super excited about it the rug is really nice um it's thin and i don't mind it being thin because the last rug that i had was like super it wasn't a high pile rug, but it had like that ornate detail on it. And it was just uh, like I couldn't roll the ottoman on it well. And it was just it just attracted a lot of dirt, you know, MJ coming in and out, people walking in and out. So with this rug, I think we'll like it's going to still need to be getting getting cleaned but it's going to be easier to maintain in here. And I like the color. It's still like giving me neutral vibes, um, but it's not like white. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy about my purchase. I got it from Amazon. It was like under, it was like $200, I want to say. It wasn't expensive at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to obviously be linking the rug in the description box down below. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is replacing my coffee table with something a little bit bigger. Let me turn y'all back around. So y'all see, this is that coffee table that I got from West Elm. It matches my dining table. I don't feel like I need that to be matchy matchy anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get a coffee table. I'm going to pop a picture up on the screen of the one that I want. Uh, it is at Living Spaces. It is 50. 46 by 
30, I want to say. So it's like a larger rectangle and it, it's like a cut out in the middle. So uh, I was thinking about getting it now and just having it here before I uh, leave this weekend, but I think I'm just going to wait. But but yeah, so I'm going to get a, a new coffee table. I need to clean the couch. I'm going to get a chair or some other form of seating to go right here. And then on this wall, I'm going to put those two shelves out of my office in here on this wall. And then I will take a step back and see, okay, what else do I feel like I need uh, in terms of decor for my living room? But I feel like this rug is making it a lot more warm in here so I love that for me uh, so today I am going to be putting the bar cart together that has been here for like three weeks and I'm gonna be moving the shelves and we'll see what else we can get done today so I will see y'all in a minute saw me I do just now in the office I removed like the shelf the first one and I put it it's here I have not put it up completely yet that's why I'm standing here holding it but I'm liking it like you can't really get the good full effect of it because it's not in the wall the little uh thing that goes in the wall so that you can screw the screw in I couldn't get it I can't figure out how to get it out uh, of the wall so I'm just gonna go to Home Depot and get more uh, and I'm planning to put these on the wall today and then I'm gonna go to home goods and get some decor girl because we getting somewhere finally uh, so yeah so I'm gonna finish going to do the second shelf and I'm gonna probably not see y'all until I come back from my errands but yes I'm super excited about this all right y'all so I am headed out I'm recorded on my phone because I'm not good yet at taking my camera out uh, while I'm outside. So I'm going to try to, you know, give myself a little bit of ease and record on my phone. So I'm headed out. I'm going to, the, the task list for today, first we're going to stop at Smoothie King, get a smoothie. Uh, then we're going to go to Home Depot. Then we're probably going to go to Target and then Home Goods. I need to take some perfume back to um sephora i got the cherry smoke or smoke cherry uh by tom ford and it's it's a no for me so yes that's the agenda for today so i will see y'all outside all right y'all so i'm over here and i'm looking for the thing that goes into the wall and then you put your screw in and the little flat washi thing. It looks like they have them like separated. Um, but I don't know if I'm supposed to buy them like separate or can I buy them in like a package? So, so like right here, they have these little washer things. I need four of these and then I need four screws, but I also need the part that goes into the wall as the anchor. And I'm just not having that. Uh, any luck finding what I'm needing and there have been several people that work here that have walked by and have not asked me if I needed help <sighs> guess I gotta figure it out I'm sure I will I will be back all right y'all I found the section it was not exactly the ones that I had before but it's these and we'll see I just got pack it with multiples because i've been having to hang stuff i want to say this is the one that's on right now but i really can't tell um yeah so we'll see actually i think i'm gonna go ahead and get this one because 
it looks more like the one that I already have. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, we just left out of Sephora. And here are my goodies. Uh, I just put it back in the Zara bag. I returned that $250 bottle of Tom Ford. And I re-upped on my Mer and Tonka in the full size. And then I got a bunch of other stuff, y'all. This is kind of ridiculous. But when I get home, like I was saying, when I get home, I'm going to do a collective Sephora haul. Because y'all know I had three other purchases and i just need to consolidate everything i didn't even want to go in the store today because i knew that if i would have gone in the store that i was going to see something that i forgot about which i did i you know i got a couple of things that i wanted to get but i for whatever reason didn't get them on my on the three other purchases that i did but you know this is like i said before i think i said before this is the time that you splurge in sephora especially if you're at rouge um because i got 20 percent off of everything and that tom ford fragrance that being not you know my fave was good for this trip because i only ended up spending 123 dollars and i got a lot of stuff y'all see when we get back to the house but right now i am going to go i'm going to go to home goods i went to home goods on wednesday or tuesday or wednesday one day this week earlier this week I went to home goods earlier this week but i did not have like a vision or a plan that i was trying to execute so um i'm going to home goods now because i know that i am getting ready to mount those ladder shelves in my living room so i need like the stuff that was on them as far as decor goes will not work for my living room like i don't want to have like a bunch of random office stuff in my living room so so yeah um i'm on my phone again y'all so if the quality is a hot mess charge it to my head not my heart okay oh my gosh oh anyway i'll see y'all in a minute you know what y'all i'm back because i hate coming outside on the weekends because everybody decides they want to come outside on the weekends where is she going park 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 oh my god girl just go oh my god oh my god it is not that serious just get out the parking spot so i can go in here and spend some money yes 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 we don't need to but we want to girl if you don't get out my way i'm trying to back up so i can straighten my car out Appreciate your partners in the rain. Let me hurry up so I can go home. Because I got lots of stuff to do. I still got some room on this side. So I'm going to make myself straight. Because I hate when people park too close to me. So I'm not going to to do it to them. It's been a rain, God. Uh. It, uh, all right, dang girl. I don't like that though for that girl. Okay. I. It's most likely going to be chaotic in Home Goods. And it looks like it's about to thunderstorm. So I am not going to commit to taking y'all in here with me. But we shall see. I've just been rhyming. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I think I am done for today because it looks like it's about to rain, and your girl does not like to be out when it's raining. So Home Goods trip was a little bit of a success. It wasn't a complete success because you know the stuff is always just picked through around. Oh shit! Stuff is always just picked through around here. These people in this big ass truck trying to park in this little bitty ass spot and gonna try to get mad at me as I'm bagging out. Like, y'all the ones who need to come to Home Goods on Tuesday, okay? 
anyway as i was saying um the home goods trip was not a complete fail i managed to find uh some cute stuff to put on my ladder shelves i am super minimal so i don't want to fill them up with stuff uh so I can, I'm keeping it to like a minimum, but I did find some cute pieces. So of course I will be sharing them with you guys in the video. And I will actually try to search. This lady is acting like there is nobody walking in front of her. <sighs> yeah, I just don't like driving. Since working remote, you know, they sent us home March 4th or something like that, 2020. It's been three years over three years and i have developed a huge anxiety for uh driving and i'm not sure like how to reverse it or, or whatever i think the only way that i'm going to be able to combat it or like it's a target right here and i'm fighting the urge to get out it's raining i'm like it's gonna start raining and i'm not getting out anyway um I think the only way that I'm going to be able to combat the anxiety of driving is to just drive. So I am going to start trying to get myself out and about a lot more than I was before, um, just so that I can, you know, get used to driving again. Um, but the, this last week I have been going here and there and it has just been hard for me to like especially on all of these big freeways and everybody in Texas drives like they from Texas it don't matter where you're from if you are in Texas you drive like you <laughs> from Texas um, if you know you know and I used to be one of them people i used to be road rage filled not not like look at this motherfucker like watch what you doing i'm sorry for cussing y'all be trying to not cuss because you know i just be trying to not cuss it's not lady like <laughs> but you know i'm just living my life anyway um i'm rambling right now but I'm just gonna, you know, get off this phone since I already have this driving anxiety. I probably shouldn't be recording while I'm driving. But yeah, so I'm gonna get off the phone. I might stop and give me something to eat. And then I will see y'all when we get home. So see you in a minute. Okay, y'all, I am back from my journey out to the store. Let me find somewhere to put this camera. Uh. All right, y'all, so we are back from our journeys to Home Depot, Home Goods, and Sephora. And right now I'm just gonna show y'all what I got from Home Goods and Home Depot. So I got some ant stuff for my yard because it is spring and the ants are marching. <laughs> I got these two paint brushes because I have a DIY that I'm going to do with the extra paint that I have from when they built my house, like the touch up paint. And then these are the drywall uh, mount things that I bought. Hopefully I got the right thing uh, so I can put my stuff on this wall. These are supposed to be holding a hundred pounds with two. So we should be good there. And then the things that I bought from home goods i got some coffee table books these are home decor related and they have some really pretty aesthetically pleasing you know pictures in here look at that bathroom or is that a kitchen <laughs> this is a kitchen it's totally a kitchen uh but like this is this will be like my dream aesthetic. So I figured it, it would be cool to have it. And then I'm going to, for this one, I think I am totally going to take off the cover and put it somewhere because look how beautiful that is. Just all white and then has like the words, you can't see it, but the words are on there. Uh, so that's the first one that I got. 
And then I got a second one. This one does not have like a loose leaf cover, but it's also another super aesthetic home decor. You know, just so you can look through here and get like the vibes. Like this is a bathroom. <laughs> look at that bathroom. Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, I figure, you know, people like to look at home decor. I don't know if these are gonna, these are probably 100% gonna go on my coffee table whenever I get it, but uh, because I like the way that that looks, I'm thinking I might put them on the one of the ladder shelves um, for the moment, but I had to pick those up. One of them was 39 and the other one was 59. And then I got like some little cute things to put on the shelf. Uh, the first thing, is one of, it looks like paper mache, but I liked it. So it was only like $19.99, I think. Could have been less than that. No, it was $19.99. But it's a cute little, it, it reminds me of paper mache. It totally looks like paper mache, but it's cute. And I figure I can put that over there on the, uh, the shelving. And then I got a bowl that I, I'm thinking that I want to put over there on the shelving as well. It's just a basic cute little bowl that, you know, I can drop some stuff in it uh, just for like holding or whatever. So I thought that was cute. And I got an amethyst crystal. I think that's what this is. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but my birth song is amethyst. So when I saw this, I figured let's just add a little bit of pop of a neutral so this is a beautiful crystal. I think it was like $24. Yeah, $24.99 from Home Goods. Super beautiful. Um, I'm going to put this over there because it's not screaming she got color in her house, but it is giving me color. Um, there is one more bag, but I don't know what this is. What is oh, I bought some picture frames because now that I have, you know, somewhere to put pictures i'm going to print out a couple of pictures and bring them in the living room of like me and my family so that is all that i have now i'm going to go and see if i can get the these ladders mounted on the wall so we shall see how this goes so stay tuned full effect she did that okay so on this side i'm gonna have to take this one down because i forgot to put the washers on but i put them on this side and it is sturdy it's sturdy on both sides but i don't like this side here has like the smallest little gap in between the screw, the screw and the uh the this part so i think when, I'm, when michael gets home from work i'm gonna ask him to help me but she's done i'm so happy and proud of that progress because i had to do it with a screwdriver the the drill didn't work except for on the the actual anchor i was able to use the drill but getting the um screw into the anchor i had to use a screwdriver girl so i have a few other things that i need to get done but i'm going to start editing this video now because my memory card is um full and i need to clear some space so i'm gonna start editing this video and then we'll come back later and style these um shelves 
and put the decor that yeah style the shelf same thing and i also still need to put together the um bar cart so stay tuned